guys, the last two days we are in Guatemala City. I think we've recovered from the travel so far. Pretty good. We survived the last days by Uber Eats. <laughs> Ordering American food. So we've had P.F. Chang's, Starbucks and now Dunkin'. Trying to make my way through this foil here. And of course, completing the edit of the next video. Let's go. Well, that's good. And of course, don't want to miss that. A donut. <laughs> Madeline is notorious. She hit the news. She hit it twice. I'm notorious. I hit the news. I hit it twice. That's the view, guys. The view today is not really clear, but there are two volcanoes that you could see. Yesterday you could. Okay, just to fill you in about the last days. We arrived in Guatemala City and took an Uber to our lovely Airbnb. And our journey here wasn't the easiest. From being sick over an Airbnb with cockroaches to running to the pharmacy and catching buses and all this kind of stuff like bus to bus to bus and then flight to flight within I lost my suitcase and we felt both really bad still and we arrived here at 8 in the evening and we were done. <laughs> That's why we didn't film anymore. Now we are feeling a bit better. Had two nights here in this lovely Airbnb and um, slept a lot, ate a lot and ordered food over Uber Eats, watched Netflix, worked a bit. Feeling finally a bit better, even though we think we might need some more treatment with pills. Guatemalan people are so friendly from what we can say right now, even though we just spent two days <laughs> in this apartment. Yeah, we uh, actually have a lot of plans to do here in Guatemala, like hiking up a volcano. But since we still don't feel very 100% healthy we don't think we can make it to an elevation of 4000 meter sleeping there in minus four degrees celsius in the night so let's see if we take on this adventure otherwise we have something else to do guatemala has so much to do if you just look in a travel guide we have here two and a half weeks and i think we are just scratching the surface in two and a half weeks here in guatemala of what you can actually do and see here so maybe we need to come back i'm already in love with the country today after two nights in this lovely apartment we are leaving for antigua which should be the most beautiful city in whole Guatemala, at least from the bigger ones. We're super excited, there's so much to do. We spent five nights there and after five nights in Antigua we are going to Lake Atitlan. Spent there four nights and yeah let's see what we can make, how many hikes we can do. We already are over 15 minutes late checking out of this Airbnb but we wanted to tell you what we are going to do now. Let's head off to Antigua and then we check in our next hopefully lovely Airbnb. Maybe you can tell us if you also if you have been to Mexico or somewhere else you had ever problems with parasites and maybe you have a tip what to do what not to do you can comment below and don't tell me i should not eat a lot of street food because we are eating street food and i know it's a risk head off to antigua Oh yeah, and just to fill you in what I did yesterday, I spent five or six hours cleaning everything we own because I thought it's so disgusting, not that we just that get parasites in Mexico, but we also had cockroaches which were running around at night in the Airbnb. And um, so I decided since we have a dryer and a washer here, put everything out. <laughs> I cleaned literally everything for five hours because I was so disgusted. So hopefully now we, we did our best to prevent everything from happening again. I know I talk about it a lot, but I'm still in shock about these facts. I've never lived with cockroach. <laughs> Our first, my first encounter. Let's head off. just asked for our local taxi prices and they appear to be uh, more than Uber to Antigua, so Uber it is.
to the city of Antigua. We had a very pleasant ride here with the Uber driver about an hour. Now we're here in front of our Airbnb waiting to get inside because we're a little bit early. One thing, the best thing already, right in front of our Airbnb there is a coffee shop. It looks really good. They take credit card and we are so thankful. <laughs> we have a coffee source. That's very good. Amazing! <laughs> that thing already in the last Airbnb. That thing. Yeah, if something works, why not all having them? And we have if we have a bar. You want a glass of wine? There's even wine that you can take if you want. Then we have the fresh water maker again, the filter. Filter stones. We can cook with an electronic plate. Bathroom. Look which at this. Super great. But I will close the window. Of course, I've already seen people encountering no cockroaches, even worse, spiders. I mean, they have jungle here. Of course, they have gigantic spiders with hairs and the fur. Oh. Oh. In our personal garden. And we even have coffee this time. Huh? And La Casa. Wow. Huge TV and huge bedroom. This is nice. I, I <laughs> oh, it's like super fancy. And I've seen on the way here, there are so many private manufacturers for furniture. I'm pretty sure that all the pretty furnitures you can see here, they are handmade. Very, very nice, yeah. guys. Very nice. If you visit Antigua, we're gonna link the Airbnb down below. It's so far very nice. And we even got some Bluetooth speakers and a second TV. Ooh. I kind of like touristy areas. <laughs> this place is really nice. I like, I like those tiles. I really do. Uh-huh. They're also here. They even have wet toilet paper. You will not find these on IKEA. They are handmade. If I'm ever rich, I will buy all the stuff I like in Mexico and go to Mala, all the furniture and then ship them to Germany. So guys, better subscribe so Maddie gets rich and can buy her fancy furniture. Then you get a room tour. <laughs> Isn't this worth it? From Guatemala City, we made it to Antigua. We have a beautiful apartment. I feel very confident that I don't account the cockroaches here. I'm getting a coffee over the street now because the coffee looks super good. Sounds good. Let's do that right now. This is a traditional cake for Antigua. At least um, I asked which of the hundreds, hundred cakes they have here uh, is the most traditional one. And she pointed at this one, almond cake with pudding. Eat it. Look at that, man. A beauty. Mm. It's a bit like the German dry cakes we have. Really nice, with a bit more almond taste. And let's try the pudding. Could also be served in Germany. It's really nice. He wants to mate the stone. He's climbing whatever. Ah. <laughs>